hands on. So welcome everybody to hands on. Today we are going to do a little experiment with a blender. The transformations that we already know how to do with rotation, translation and, and scale. And the idea is to make a lamp. Uh, and this lamp is going to be working with this port lamp here. Right? So we have this thing here that's going to help us a lot. Right? And the idea is to actually make the design of a lamp that it's going to be working with this, with this little guy, right? This goes to the to the roof, and this goes to the connection to the lamp here. Um, the result of the lamp is going to be pretty much similar to this one. Right. So there we are. You see that it is not that much of a good quality there on the top. I did not mind so much. Actually, the whole 3D print is not that much of a good quality. I just used the words. 3D print quality that I could actually do, but the idea is to try it out a bit with the transformation of Blender and take from those transformations and those things your ideas into reality and, and try to make them happen in a 3D print. So the idea is that uh, once you have this kind of thing here, I'm gonna actually remove this like this, and then I can actually put this here, right? And from there. I can actually put this again, something like this, and then it's going to be hanging like that, similar to this, right? And then you're going to be able to have the lamp there up and running. So let's see how, how to make it happen in Blender. And if you get there, then you're going to be able to get more things done, right? So I'm not a professional in regards to Blender, neither in regards to 3D printing, I'm just uh, learning by doing things in my own way. So I'm going to try to explain as fast as possible. Let's go for it. So here we are in Blender, and what we're going to do right now is first, this is the very beginning of a scenario. So I'm going to remove everything, and then I'm going to add here a mesh, which is going to be a UV sphere. I'm going to add here the screencast of the Let's see. So go a little bit in this UV sphere. And what the first thing that we're going to do is just um, go press the tab and see all the vertices there. And I'm going to see it from the top. So what we can do here is just select here on the top. We're going to see that there are some vertices that we don't need, like these ones. The idea is to have them all selected like this and up to a certain line, which is the one that you see there. So from here, we can also apply our transformations into the level of vertices in Blender, which is actually very, very handy. So the idea is that we can make it with a transformation of a scale in set in regards to this shape, making it smaller, is going to make some an effect like this. Right, so we are going to keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. We see that we already went the other way around. Um, and now we are going to grab this part and we are going to go in the set direction, right? There we are. So now we are going to press the tab in order to see it in a normal way. And what we're going to do is scale it in Y. There we are. So with these few steps, you already have a leaf of what is going to be that lamp. So there, we take it to the side. The next step is going to be creating the holder of the lamp, right? So we're going to need to have another mesh, which is going to be a cylinder. So from this cylinder, we are going to duplicate it. And then we're going to scale it down this and we can see there a bit more we can see the inner the inner the inner cylinder there and we can scale it up in the set direction that way so what we're going to do right now is just selecting the outer one the outer cylinder we're going to go here to the modifiers 
we're going to select the boolean modifier and then we're going to select the inner boolean so we apply it then we go next and you can see that there is a hole there in that cylinder so can remove this cylinder and we just keep it up with this inner cylinder so this uh, with this cylinder that comes with the, with the with the hole inside so this one we're going to make it in the set direction of this and there we are so basically what we have here is the very first leaf and then what we're going to do is just rotate in X like this grab it in Y not in X grab it in Y grab it in set grab it in Y a bit more and there you are and the idea in regards to this one is just that you grab you grab the very first leaf from here what we can do is just play around a little bit with symmetries and in regards to that I just duplicate this leaf I I um, rotate it in set like this let me take it in Y to the other side we can rotate it in set a bit more like this so they are confronted so you can you see that where we are going already so we just duplicate it then we rotate it in set and you have now two leaves so just by playing around a little bit with this we can already have the the very beginning of all this all this structure with the with the leaves and you can decide how many leaves you're going to want and if they're going to be very big if they're going to be very small or not here you have the very beginning of the lamp that we were playing around a little bit so we save it call it um, we can call it um, lamp example we can export it as an STL and from there we are going to say open file and we are going to open the lamp example right so it is pretty small <laughs> this, this little guy here and um, we can scale up a little bit there let's say so this is one possible solution right um, what I just did with this lamp I just uh, I just created a bit, a bit bigger one with more leaves. So after do, after playing around a little bit with the symmetries and, and using this this base of this leaf, I also added here a little thing that goes on top of it, just to grab all the different leaves there and be sure that they are all in the same uh, plastic. But I think there is no even need for doing this actually on the top and the way I printed out it was just like this I just rotate it and there you are so with this I think you're going to have less of a hassle to, to print it out so that's it that's how to make this this happen and I hope you you enjoyed and you're going to be able to play around a bit more with Blender and and enjoy creating your own things from scratch so that's the whole goal of goal in regard to this one not making the lamp itself just having the chance to create your own different designs um, I'm going to post this in the, in the Thingiverse as well so here we are with the lamp let's figure out how to put this there and let's see how it looks like so there we are this is how it looks like so I hope that you you enjoyed this this video. It was a, a pleasure for me to do so. Uh, and uh, if you like it, just give, give the like to, to the video or subscribe to the channel. We're going to keep on doing more and more things and, and trying out things.
things with 3D printing and other technologies. So, till the next time.